All right. I straightened out a mess. Um, if if you're viewing these in order, um, I skipped upon this rock. We'll build my church Friday video. I got into the wrong columns. Um, they just the numbers played tricks with my head. So because I started a Bible study and I was like, I just did this. And um I'm pretty sure I corrected it on my channel, the way it would all look. Uh, no, on my channel, it's going to look like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday. <laughs> because I had to fix the playlist. On the playlist, it's actually correct. When you go down to Matthew, and you, and you go all the way down, you see where it'll say Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because I got rid of the one that didn't belong. I'm sorry, there it is. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It, but you see there's no revelation study on that one. So I kept the study so that so that it so that the revelation, because I didn't mess up the revelation study as far as the playlists. The playlists are correct. But the videos, if you're just going by video by video, they'll look a little they'll look a little jacked up. <laughs> so sorry about that, Chief. Um so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday as a correction to correct a playlist. And now we will do Monday's study. And we are on the right column this time. It is column two for Monday. Very good. We're in the right place. Everything's good. All right. Then Jesus answered and said, Oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and departed out of him. I did this study the other day, by the way. Uh, but it was out of turn. So if you feel like you're hearing the same thing over and over, that's why. Uh, the devil departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. And the disciples then came the disciples apart and said, why could we not cast him out? Jesus said unto him, because of your unbelief. And we went over what faith was and what proper faith is. And it, it, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Uh, that's Romans 10, 17. The word of God is Jesus. That's John 1, 1. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. That's John uh, 10, 27. And John the Baptist said, one will come after me that will baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. Um, that is Matthew 3, 11. And then you have to go to um, what real faith is. Faith is tangible evidence of your salvation. It's tangible evidence of the Holy Spirit. That's Hebrews 11, 1, paraphrased. And then, of course, you know from Hebrews, no, James 2, 14 through 26, that faith without works is dead. So when he says, because of, and, and we know the apostle said to Jesus, Jesus, increase our faith. And um, so when he's, and, and belief is a noun, or, or believe is the verb, faith is the noun. He's, and he's saying, because of your unbelief, which means because of your lack of faith. And we just got to explaining the faith comes from Jesus. So he, basically what he's saying is, I haven't given you the power to do this yet. He does give them that power. Um, like in the book of Acts, they all have these powers that he has, because when he ascends, he then gives them these powers. So... For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say to this very mountain, remove hence and yonder place, and it shall be removed, and nothing will be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth out without prayer and fasting. Like I said the other day, don't, don't look too much into that. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, the Son of Man, well, what I should say is, is people will people will start praying and fasting thinking they can have these powers. So just 
just let that go. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, the son of man shall be betrayed into his hand, into the hands of man. They shall kill him. And a third day, he shall be raised again. And they were exceedingly sorrow. And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter and said, doth now your master pay tribute? He saith, yes. And when he come into the house, Jesus prevented him saying, what thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute of their own children or strangers? Question. And so we can go to the New Living on this if you like. Just to kind of um, go over what those last few verses And they shall kill him on the third day, and he shall be raised again. And they were exceedingly sorry. Okay. And um, and then you get into something completely different. Payment of the temple tax. Upon arrival in Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and asked, Doesn't your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he does, Peter replied. Then he went into the house. But before he had a chance to speak, Jesus asked him, what do you think, Peter? Do kings tax their own people or the people they have conquered? So, very interesting there. And so, yeah, we'll get more into that uh, tomorrow. And now we're going to get on with Revelation 21. This Revelation study has been really amazing. I hope you've all been following it. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breedeth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length of the breedeth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, and 144 cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear gla glass. And the foundations of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The foundation was jasper, uh, sapphire. Uh, Chalcedony, an emerald, Sardux, Sardius, Chrysolite, uh, Beryl, Topaz, Chrysophorus, Chrysophorus, Jacinteth, and Amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street, the city was of pure gold, transparent as glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. I'm glad you're here. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.